Hi guys, this is Lena from Way to Good Life Kids. Oh wait, that's not my car. That is not, that, I think I forgot my car home. <laughs> I, I, I took my husband's car. This one doesn't even have a holder. So I am like gonna be like holding it like this. I'm gonna be like one of those people. Oh my God, this is, this is horrible. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna make it extra short then. Um. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you really quickly today about how you can utilize your car when you go camping. Did you know that they actually are smart marketers? They came up with all kind of stuff that you can use, uh, you know, you can actually use with your car to make your camping more luxurious, is, if there is such thing. Uh, and, you know, just check it out. We we just posted something about it on the blog, so just just let me show you a couple ideas so you can actually understand what I'm talking about. Something tells me that you would want to just sort of kind of drop everything, book yourself a campsite just for sake of checking out how to put some of these awesome things to good use. And uh, this is the article we... Uh, published a couple of weeks ago on thatwaytogoodlife.com and I will put the link to it in the description down below so just click on it and go and check out all of them because we're only going to talk about the few. Uh, look at that. Let's pick one. A baby food jar matchbox. Yay. Okay baby food container match box oh I, I swear I honestly I always wanted to put that you know those, those little Gerber uh, baby food like boxes to good use but I could never really think of anything this is definitely a clever idea and this will make sure that you will have uh, you know a supply of match match but that you have you know you don't end up with no fire and bad matchsticks. Let's see the next one. The next one is simple, easy privacy curtains for your car. Guys, I don't know about you. I have never ever slept in a Walmart parking lot or really like in a car randomly. But the author of this article, Josh, is, ex is an experienced, uh, you know, car sleeper. Because as he notices, tells us here, he has woken up a few times at people staring at him and he finds it creepy. Yes, I would have to, but I also do not sleep in the cars. So what he, he came up with this easy solution of how to create a privacy curtain. And yes, we have also, we have step-by-step -step instruction of how to make this Handy dandy curtain. Next one from Art Wife Needs a Life. Wow. Okay, guys, this is making, you know, woods look like home, maybe partially. So she actually came up with a washing station and she tells us exactly how to. She is really good. She's, a, she's, a, she's probably really good at organizing things. Like, can I hire her to organize my everything, please? Next. Okay. This is a mini camper. Oh, mini. This is interesting. This is, uh, it's a very interesting solution for when you're sleeping in a car and just sort of kind of want to have some access to the outside without actually having just the windows and doors open and that um um yeah so there is um there's not much information but there is a little bit about it i think it's clever okay solar lights look at that hacks that will make you life camping. Okay, this is, yeah, this is actually a really, really, really cool one. And this one is from mm, creeklinehouse.com. Uh, yeah, so they have actually a number of really, really clever ideas. I absolutely like. Uh, so 
Apparently the Cuisiner knife is the best for camping and cutting potatoes, but they're also talking about what little gadgets made their life easier. Check this. I'm just gonna scroll through it. Um, solar light, solar lights. Seems like a great idea, right? Because you know what? That totally makes sense and you don't really even have to it's completely maintenance free and you know fine when they're on sale oh there is more stuff but there are no pretty pictures uh, yes they also have a camping list there but let's go to the next one oh another solar light creation and here it's actually it's a it's a centerpiece because yes, we do want to have to sit down and might not necessarily want to sit down next to the campfire. Maybe we just want to have this sitting to give us a little bit of light, but I think it's super duper clever, don't you? And okay, now the very last one. I think it is absolutely awesome. Ready, set, tabadoom. Okay, so this is camping hacks for families. Uh, if you are not an experienced camper, you probably, and you decide to go camping, you will most likely overbuy and over prepare, and you, over, you probably will over everything. Just because you want it to be a good trip and you do not want to run out of things. So, here they have this really, really cute infographics that tells us what to do versus what not to do the expensive gear you don't need and how to replace them with ordinary items oh my god i i cannot honestly believe that the day has come where this is the ex we do not want the expensive sleeping pad because we want the air mattress i i grew up with the sleeping pad what happened but no yes i would always take air mattress now over a sleeping pad and homemade fire starters over the traditional fire starters my husband uh he did some and he even got uh, one of our neighbors <laughs> to do something similar as well i think it's absolutely cool uh if nothing else go there check those out i think those ideas are amazing and come back we actually have 25 i showed you six so there is 19 more ideas of what other things we can uh you know try while camping let's just pick maybe one more just because i can mm, which one would it be tips for camping in a prius oh yes that's a question how would you camp with the prius prius camping okay <laughs> wow they actually they actually made like a prius stand that is so cute <laughs> Hey, interesting. Uh, I did not, I would have never thought that the Prius would be a camping car. Not really be on top of my, you know, thinking if I'm thinking camping car. Okay, well, that's about it. So what do you think about it? I hope you found that information useful and you will fully utilize your car next time you camping. Do you? Okay, guys, until next time, bye!